Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial series, Loud Vehicles. Uh, you know, I said I was going to set up in an evac shelter or a fire station, and I was going to travel there between episodes, but then I remembered we have this magical ability of the debug menu where I can just make this happen myself. So we're going to go to a fire. Uh, you know what, just give me an evac shelter. Oh, uh... I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll go north. I don't know which. Nope. Let's. We. Nope. Okay. So this menu has changed. We want to move here before we do that. We'll just set it up down. Oh, that's as far as we can go. We'll set it up down the road. Go ahead and give me an evac shelter. It doesn't matter which one. We'll hit north. Ah, so it is. It is a multi tile building, huh? Okay. Give me. Uh, how do we do... Oh, this is embarrassing. I thought this would be fast and easy on camera. We want to... It's over map slash map gen. No, it's not. Uh, let me figure this out, internet. Sorry. Over map editor, since it's multiple tiles. We'll come over here. Nope, never mind. This has all been generated, so if we try to place a special here, it's only going to change the map. So I hit enter. Oh, good. Broken broken things okay because I didn't want to I, I can't just teleport if we teleport Lyle's not going to come with us so we'll just plop this over here and whatever would have been there has now been overwritten so we should just be able to Lyle Lyle oh god where did you go <sighs> uh, okay okay Quit to main menu, yes. Load the game. Wow, why does he do this? You know? Like, I got so much pushback when I complained about NPCs. I was like, NPCs are terrible. Don't use NPCs. They don't follow instructions. They keep disappearing. All these bugs, etc. And the internet freaked out. And the internet was like, no, you're an idiot. You just don't know how to use them. And now I'm trying to use them. And it's like absolute torture. These freaking idiots... Disappear all the time. Come on, Lyle. Get in the car. I, I just... I don't get why people use... No, Lyle. <laughs> Damn it, Lyle. Get in the car. Swap positions. Close the door. Open the curtain. Drive the vehicle. And we should just be able to roll down the road into the evac shelter. Sorry, Internet. That took us three full minutes. So that's... <sighs> that's exciting. Uh, and we're going to go down to the evac shelter. We still also have not talked about the refugee center. I would like to at least touch on that. Of course. Um, ah, there's no way to do this. So we will just um, we'll just pop out. We don't need our vehicle because we're just going to debug everything anyway. Lau, come on. Don't get attacked by a spider, please. I would like you to be intact as we approach the evac shelter. Hopefully he stays with us this whole way. And you'll see it fully generated to shelter. Ah, it's the broken down one. Ah, uh, can um can this be used as a as a shelter? Not yet, Lyle. Uh let's talk about faction camps. I want you to build a camp here. You have selected no water. There are a few fields farming maybe difficult. That's fine. Yes. Name this camp uh shelter. Sure. Uh so Lyle has formulated the camp. Put the bulletin board here in the corner. Sufficient zones. Yes, we should do that. Of course. Uh, sorting zones have changed. Please create some sorting zones. Yes. Um, we want camp storage. We'll just make like over here. I assume it builds things in the building. So these may get overwrite, uh, overwritten by uh, like facilities as we go. Okay. Build fireplace, brazier, menial labor. So we can do the same things we could do before. I really thought, I guess we have to start with a bed and braziers like we did in the other one. So let's, where's our zone here? So let's just spawn a bunch of stuff. We want a brazier. Spawn that. Drop the brazier. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an issue now that I'm thinking about it because I'm going to need to drop all the tools and things again. Let's spawn. We're going to need, um, for beds, we're going to need mattresses. And we'll go ahead and spawn four mattresses for two beds. Drop items. 
and drop the one we're wielding. We're going to need a bunch of planks. Are they mowing? You know, I bought this microphone hoping that I could record when they mow, but now that I'm hearing it, it's actually quite loud. So I don't think that that's going to be an option. We'll just drop like 90 planks and we'll drop them all. So um, they do sound pretty far away. I don't know. They usually mow on Thursdays. It's Wednesday. So I didn't really expect this to be an issue. Uh, it does sound far away. I think we're okay. And we'll give some food here as well. Go ahead and spawn more dehydrated meat. Can't spell dehydrated meat. Uh, meat. And we'll spawn like, I don't know, 500 of those. And we'll drop all that. I guess I have to stop while this uh, lawnmower goes on. Oh, it's not going well today, internet. Second, second episode of the day. I'm already behind. I got distracted by discord and things let's distribute food great a jillion calories so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stop here and uh we'll be back when the mowing is done i guess so see you in like 40 minutes i guess okay we're back internet welcome back it only took us probably about 20 minutes so what was i talking about yes okay so we're gonna need to set up the brazier why <laughs> why uh, the last place I could just use the brazier, and I have a brazier, why does it require all this other stuff? It didn't require that at the last place. It literally just took a brazier, didn't it? Grab a pot. Let's set up near the working terminal. Hammering. Sawing. This is too much. Why do I need to do all of this? You don't need any of this to, to work a brazier in the game. So I, I don't see a point in the requirements of wood, nails, and then a pot. I don't see why any of that at all is necessary. Um, the last place was literally just putting up a brazier. So I'm pretty annoyed by that. I You know, that's a recurring theme here, Internet. If you haven't noticed, I am a little displeased with a lot of this stuff. I know that people don't like hearing that. People like to, you know, basically... My experience is if people want to complain about something, they want to complain about it and you arguing with them is just going to frustrate them. If you complain about something and they like it, no amount of arguing is going to change their mind. Essentially, basically, just like I'm complaining about things I don't like, everyone has things that they, they like and they dislike and there seems like there's no convincing people of anything else. So like... I'm a little annoyed by some of this stuff, and I know that there are going to be people who look at that and are like, man, he's right. And there are going to be people who are like, dude, just shut up and do what you're supposed to do. Um, so I, I don't really know. Am I supposed to cater to that crowd? I don't know. Am I supposed to continue expressing myself? Should I just stop saying things and whatever happens, happens? I just, I don't see a need for this. Nail. We'll build the brazier, which should open up, just give me like 300 nails, which should open up, oh, oh, it didn't wield them, drop these things, which should open up more stuff. So we'll send, I still can't, oh, we need tools, of course, uh, that will be here as well. So we're going to need a hammer, 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 uh, should have just spawned a toolbox actually, because the toolbox will have most of the qualities we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and drop the hammer and the unfavorited toolbox. He should now be able to do everything. Go ahead and build that brazier for me, Lyle Darden. And we will uh, pass time here again, change time. Hour seven. And we'll bring him back. Okay. So we have... Okay. So the reason it had those requirements is because it's not just a brazier. It has a table with a pot on it. I don't like that because this is still an item I can just take. And I could have easily just done this myself if I wanted to. I could have dragged a bench over here and threw a pot on it if that's something I wanted. I didn't want that. I just wanted the brazier. I I just don't like things like that. Okay. So we can build a well, which we know is something that's absolutely necessary. It's interesting because... In this one, we can actually build, we can get them to cook things. 
which is funny because we couldn't do that in the other shelter despite having everything we would need to cook in the in the other shelter so i'm not sure why that's available i guess in the main shelter you would have to build a mess hall to get them to cook that uh canteen the problem with that is that we spent you know weeks building the camp we were never able to build the mess hall because we went we with one with the farm so basically you're limited in the first choice that you make and if you can't make what you want to make then you're just screwed we couldn't get our npcs to cook for us simply because we didn't build the canteen even though we had a brazier and we could have given them tools so i i just uh, i don't and i don't know that even having our npcs cook is that valuable of a thing i guess if we were harvesting eggs every day we we would want them to to boil our eggs for us to save us time or to cook our meat for us but i don't i don't know cooking meat takes 15 minutes Okay, so we want to expand. We want to see what else we can build. Upgrade camp build southeast wood panel bedroom walls. Let's do that. I'm curious what this actually means. So we'll build some, spawn some door hinges. A hinger. No, just hinges, please. Drop some hinges here. Internet, I gotta assume at this point you know whether or not this is something that interests you. If you play a lot with NPCs, uh, or you want to roleplay like setting up your own settlement, obviously this is a, a valid way to go. If you're like me, and you're more about like practical applications and value and things, I like roleplaying, but not enough to go through all of this kind of stuff. Bring him back. Um... So, I can't, <laughs> so there's a door here, cannot close the cupboard and I can't drag the cupboard. Give me, what did I pick up for smashing? Oh, it was the axe. Give me a sledge real quick. Just give me a regular sledgehammer. Wield the sledgehammer. Smash the cabinets. And you'll see it had uh, built the walls underneath the cabinets, which is not great. It should really check and remove existing furniture, I think. Um, even if that would lead to overwriting, this do it doesn't make sense that this wouldn't clear that stuff. But it looks like we built a little bedroom area. I assume now we build the beds. Uh, we're looking for southeast furnish, the southeast bedroom. See, and here, instead of making beds out of, <laughs> I, I just don't, uh, there's no consistency. Instead of making beds out of mattresses like we did in the other one, we make them now out of blankets and stuff, which was my complaint last time, was that we needed mattresses instead of making them out of sheets and planks. <sighs> and why do I need locks and keys? I guess we're building like foot lockers or something as well. Okay. That's a lot of stuff we don't have. Why can't I build sheet metal? So, so probably for lockers, pipes, sheet metal. Okay. Um, let's just smash this crap. Because that'll be a faster way than having to debug everything kind of manually. I guess if I were going to build this shelter... is is English is hard sometimes. If I were going to build this shelter, the smart play would be to smash all the furniture first. Um, because of how it seems to conflict with furniture a little bit. Okay, you need to wait a while. Um, and because this would give us a lot of raw materials to start with. So we probably would want to smash all this stuff. Lyle, I should deposit you at the camp so you stop following me and getting in my way all the time. That'd be great. If you could just stop being a tool, Lyle. So we'll get rid of these cabinets as well. Drag all that down here. The um, rations got their own wrapper now. 18 wrappers of protein rations. Day Zoom Protein Bar brought to you by Soy Palooza is emblazoned proudly upon this greaseproof wrapper. Yeah, it's a recent addition. They have wrappers now. Thought I'd point it out since we're here. Got to stop shaking my leg because it's going to shake the mic. Okay, so we needed lock and keys. Spawn item. Lock and key. 
Um, I gotta think you would be able to get these from lockers and similar furniture. We should have tested that before we smashed them all. If you deconstruct them, I would imagine you would get these. So we'll go ahead and spawn like 10 of those. I don't remember how many I needed. Um, drop, lock and key. We're going to need pipes was the other thing. Pipe. I think we need more pipes than we probably have. So give me like 30 pipes. And drop all those. And drop the other one. And what else do we need here? Furnish, southeast bedroom. Oh, and we can make the beds out of straw like we could any other location if we wanted to. We need sheet metal. We failed to get sheet metal. We only got small sheet metal from smashing. So let's go ahead and drop some sheet metal. Sheet metal. And we will just drop like five of those, I think. Should be fine. Lyle, make me a bedroom. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Make me a match. Find me a find. Perhaps you could catch me a catch and drop this stuff. Uh, so how much time does that take? Recall ally six hours. Weird that it takes six hours to make two beds, but okay. We Again, I think we're going to be making a like lockers from scratch as well. So we'll just jump to 15 hours and bring him back. Lau Darden has returned, so let's check this out. Okay, more or less what we had in the other place. Instead of bookcases, we have metal lockers. Um, again, I'm a little annoyed by the extra furniture. I feel like this is a personal preference. I don't think that this is like practical. I would rather build the furniture myself and decide where things go and how things get laid out. I think I like structuring various chunks of the building into their own little section i like that a lot but i would prefer if it's like okay if we need to have beds i would prefer if we only built the beds and then i get to decide what other furniture goes there because basically if i were starting this shelter and i said hey i really want to to set up a bedroom in order to set up a bedroom i have to gather sheet metal uh locks and keys wood all the stuff to make the blankets and, and all that for the mattresses it's like I would rather just get the beds made and then manually build the other stuff myself if I want it. I don't like the extra requirement because to me all it does is expand the grind into what I need to get the basic setup done. And I don't really like that very much. Okay, build a well. We've already done that at the other place. What else can we do? Set up a dining room. Set up a living room. Some wood racks. That's cool. Uh, again, I would prefer to do that myself, but okay. A workbench, also pretty cool, but again, something I would rather build myself. Rock bedroom walls? Why east, east bedroom? I don't have an east bedroom. Okay. East bedroom wall. So probably it will build additional beds like here. Because I find it hard to imagine it would conflict with the food station that we've set up. Um, expand base. Choose any one of the available. It can only be built on a field though, right? And none of these are field, so we wouldn't be able to build anything anyway. Let's test that. Expand base. We'll send Lyle to survey the land. Shouldn't take very long takes three hours of course it does so we'll pass some time this like the whole thing just feels like an enormous time sink that i don't think is very <laughs> a very valuable way to spend your time select a tile up to one tile away yeah i don't think any of these are viable can we build on the road can't build on the road okay forest can't build in a forest okay uh, I mean, those are, that's literally all we have. So emergency recall. Oh, I can't, I can't bring him back. Must be on missions for at least 24 hours. Oh, so I have to wait another four hours. 
It's like, I, I need to wait another 20 hours in order to recall him. That's st stupid and arbitrary. There's no reason I should have to wait 24 hours to recall him. Um, so we can't expand the camp, so we can only build things inside of this building. Um, let's furnish the living room. I'm curious what that will build. We need planks, sheet panels, nails, blankets. Okay. So, whatever. Anyway, this crap's boring. Let's talk about something. Um, we picked up the little car from the mechanic today. The uh, family's car, basically, which is like our backup car. Needed a whole new engine. I believe it's going to cost between fifteen and hundred, er, fifteen hundred and eighteen hundred dollars. I haven't really seen the bill, and I'm not going to be paying it because it's not my car. I just spent twelve hundred dollars on my car last week. In fact, I think I paid that on Monday. Uh, it's Thursday currently, and uh, so we got the car back. I went to Subway because I have not eaten out because I've. Um, been saving money because I had a huge car expense the first time I've eaten uh, you know gotten food anywhere in in this whole week um, which is like you know I don't I don't often eat in restaurants or anything but like I have been going probably twice a week to go to Subway um, I like Subway because I can watch them prepare my food and coronavirus is a thing so like just that little extra mental comfort that comes from like knowing that someone you can see them like they didn't like it's not like mcdonald's where they're inside you're outside in the drive through and you can't see them preparing like for all i know that kid just spit in my food you know so i like subway for that reason so it's subway for dinner went to the dollar store to pick up some beverages they didn't have my tea unfortunately so i'm drinking this new what is this called this new beverage uh wa uh Water. It's called water. It's disgusting. Uh, I'm not a fan. Uh, what else did we need? Living room. Sheets. Pa or Like panel sheets. And for some reason, oh, our nails are in our inventory. That's why. Uh, so we'll drop the nails and we're going to need wood panels. Yeah, so I'm drinking water. I really hate water. I do drink 90% of what I drink is tea at this point in my life. I'm a tea drinker, I know. Go ahead and judge me. I know how you like to judge people who drink tea. America, you all believe in your fancy bean water, but I like my leaf water, so it is what it is. Go ahead and build me a living room, Lyle. He doesn't have the skills. Tailoring, why would he need tailoring? Probably making a sofa would be my guess. Uh, which is, again, a furniture item I'm not really interested in. Tailoring. Set that to five. Not really interested in a sofa. I don't... Again, furniture, I feel like I should be able to build myself. What I'm looking for with the faction camp, in my opinion, should be, like, structure. We're building structure. Walls, you know, doors actual structures and what i'm seeing is it's a lot of furniture and i don't like that and i know again i think people are going to disagree with me i'm probably going to get a lot of negative comments where people are like oh hey man you know i really don't like <laughs> your take you know you've been like uh complaining and and you oh you don't like anything do you and it's like no i just really don't like it the way it is it's weird that they're just <laughs> sitting facing a door uh and again it's just furniture i could build all this myself can we build a sofa actually we can take me 45 minutes i mean if i wanted to furnish it i would furnish it myself i want structure i want walls i want facilities you know some wooden racks i don't care the dining room is probably just a stupid table i don't i don't want any of this okay so we <laughs> okay so faction camps the way it looks here's my overview of a faction camp you find a location that's an evac shelter uh fire station or field you set up the faction camp your immediate concern should be getting that well built in the shelter it's immediately available it's something you can build pretty much right away uh i think we had I don't think it was available until we built the food station, 
but still that's a very quick build so the well should be available pretty quickly the faction camp we actually needed to build a complete structure before it would let us access the well building which i think is a problem because it specifically references that you need a well so i think that that is probably an oversight probably should be something you can build right from the jump fire station i don't know i'm going to assume it's the same as the evac shelter regardless of the building that you pick your main ability to expand will be building into fields so if you build in the shelter a lot of shelters are not going to have fields near them i think the one we started in had a field to its north so we could have expanded once nope it was completely surrounded as well so you will not be able to build in these areas if you find a fire station the odds of you finding a field next to it are pretty low it is possible if we look in town you can see various field locations uh, next to buildings so you know for all we know we could get a fire station right here which would have three adjacent tiles most of the time that's not going to happen it's going to be a fire station surrounded by other buildings and roads and you're not going to be able to expand so if you're not able to expand it seems like the things that are available to you are primarily furniture items which is all stuff that your character could build himself so i don't see any reason at all to build a faction camp in an evac shelter or in a fire station other than because it will allow you to get your npcs to craft for you and to harvest see now i can hunt why can i hunt at this one but i couldn't hunt at the other one hunt large animals I want to send him on this and see what he does. Marksmanship 1, departs for meat. How long does that take? Six hours. Okay. Um, and so I don't see a huge benefit in doing this other than to get a little extra value out of your NPCs. To me, none of the value seems like staggering. We're going to see how much meat he brings back. That could be a very valuable thing. Meat supply has a bit more experience. Okay. what he it didn't uh it didn't deposit any meat where where's your meat lyle it didn't deposit the meat where distribute food did it deposit it directly in? I I send him out again. I wanna I, I don't understand. Send him out again, Lyle Darden. Uh maybe I missed the message. We'll jump ahead again. Call it twenty-eight. Okay. Bring him back. Returns from hunting for meat, carrying supplies, and has a bit more experience. Yeah, but he didn't. He, he didn't deposit the meat anywhere. It's not in his inventory. Did he deposit it in the calorie stores? That's real dumb. I don't think he did. I, I don't... I, so either he deposited the meat directly in the calorie stores, which is bad for a number of reasons. One because I can't take it for myself too, because it gets a reduced calorie rate because it spoils so quickly. I would rather have had it deposited so I could decide if I wanted him to cook it or deposit it. Um, or else he came back with nothing, which I don't like either. So I thought hunting would be like really valuable. I really don't, it says hunting possibilities, small, medium, or large animal corpses. Did you deposit corpses somewhere, Lyle? I don't think he did. Did he just not get anything? Lyle, you have a gun. Maybe he just wasn't successful. We're going to keep sending him to do this. Anyway, um, I think it gives you more value out of your NPCs than you would normally get for sure. But also, NPCs are inherently useless. If I leave him out there, does the chance of him getting something go up? Let's, um, let's just make him go for a full day. One day, seven hours. Bring him back. 
carrying supplies. Okay, did you deposit? Oh, here we go. Corpse of a muskrat, corpse of a duck. Is that it, Lyle? You were gone for a full day. That is it. Oh, man, Lyle. I mean, how big is a muskrat? Two and three pounds? I mean, literally, I can walk outside. Lyle, get, get away from me. I don't want you here. Lyle, I want you to... Not yet. Uh, I want to sign you to work at this camp. Okay? See you around. Go inside and guard. Okay. So we're going to go out here just to illustrate my point. Um, look, there's a dog. So we're going to pull out our sig. He might run away or he might attack us. He did neither. Ignore. Bam. Look at that. It's a dead dog. Look at this. Another dog. Ignore. Where'd you go? Bam. Meat. We just killed two animals. Bam. Three animals. In the time it took Lyle to go out, which was about, I think, a cumulative total of about two days, uh, we, in about 45 seconds, have already killed three dogs. So... I, again, I understand the idea that, oh, well, you're getting value out of an NPC that would normally do nothing. But literally, I can do everything better than them, faster than them on my own. So for me, the faction camps hold absolutely no sway for me whatsoever. And you know what? There's more dogs here as well. There's border collies I'm seeing. Even if we were not able to discover dogs, there are so many animals around here that it's so easy to just quickly duck into the forest and wander around until you see a raccoon or a dog or a wolf or any number of things. Um, oh, I saw something blink there. What was that? It's easier when you get into a little clearing like this. You, you can usually see a little bit further. There, I got the pop-up again of something. I'm seeing animals. Oh, it was a squirrel, which is pretty limited interest to us. I think that was a squirrel as well. Um... You know, and you just wander around until you find something. It's so much faster to do that on your own. Here we see another animal. Where's this border collie? We see two, two dogs to the north. We'll go up there. And again, within the span of what? Five minutes of game time. We've now killed five animals for meat. You know, and it just doesn't make sense to me that I send the NPCs out when I can so easily do things on my own. Um... I don't see the sense in having them build furniture when I can do it myself. And when I do it myself, I can actually pick the layout. It's not a preset layout. So for me, again, I really want to stress I'm not trying to badmouth the work people have done. But I do not see a point to building a faction camp. It's enormously time consuming. And the value you get in return is, in my opinion, uh, that from what we have seen at this point. And again, we spent over an in-game month doing this, the value that we've gotten out of it so far has been virtually zero. So to me, it just seems like a huge expenditure. If you want to do it for role play, 100%, you should do that. If you want to do it because you want um, autonomous benefits like deconstructing vehicles, someone else farming your food, um, someone going hunting for you, building shelters so you don't have to, then yes, this is for you. But if you're like me, and your goal is to be the player who plays the game rather than automating everything, this is not for you. I, I personally have not found anything in this that makes me go, you know what, I need to have this. So for me, it's, it's, it's a no for me, dog. Like, again, no disrespect. I understand there are people who, are, who like this. I got, again, I got a ton of pushback when I started uh, saying I didn't like the features, but... I just don't see any benefit to it at the moment. I would much rather build something myself than uh, than have to play with NPCs because they're they're buggy. The NPC faction camp has been buggy. We saw that just this episode with the construction walls overlapping existing furniture. We've seen that with the calorie stores giving seg faults. We've seen that with the seeds not being taken out of the uh, out of the the camp's inventory. We've seen bugs with NPCs that make you want to pull your eyeballs out of your head. I, for me, it's just not worth it at all. So I think I've belabored the point enough. That's going to do it for the faction camp stuff. I really wanted that to be a more expansive tutorial where we literally did everything. But the amount of time that this has taken, we've already spent probably three, 
real life hours discussing faction camps. I, I don't see a point in continuing. So I think we're done with the faction camps. Uh, we can talk about the refugee center. We'll do that in the next episode. And we're going to be winding down to the end of the series, I think. Look, there's more Labradors. Like, look, it's just so easy to do this myself. Why would I send NPCs out? He came back after two days with two tiny corpses. And I, in five seconds, killed three large-ish animals. So, just, just, I just don't see the point. But anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry if that rubbed you the wrong way. I know some people seem really passionate about this. And uh, it is what it is. So I'll be back with more in the near future. It's going to do it. See you next time.